Hi you crazy bunch. If you're new to my channel, you must be crazy if you're watching me. Uh, today um, I've just done a, I'm just doing a quick video um, you know middle of the week out in. Uh, so off down well I'm here down uh, Kenfig Nature Reserve and uh, hopefully we'll make uh, make our way down to Scare. When I say we, I've got my hubby and my dog, so she uh, might make an appearance today. The weather is pretty bad, so there's times that I would probably be talking and you won't be able to hear me. Um, so fingers crossed, I'm not a ghost hunting today, just showing you the good old Welsh weather and our beautiful uh, nature reserve, um, which I absolutely love. I am a massive bird spotter. Um, as well as a wildlife geek in general. Um, I love all nature and everything. So today isn't abandoned buildings, um, ghosts, you know, climbing under fences. Today is just all about going for a good old fashioned walk at one of my favorite places. And I can't wait to get down with the coast to do some more filming. So I'll film as I'm going along, um, trying to not get anybody in, in the film. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy how beautiful this reserve is. Bye, you crazy bunch. There's my girl. Right, this is uh, Malia. This is her new coat. She don't like the rain. It hasn't actually started raining yet, but um, well, it was earlier. It was pissing down. Uh, so um, yeah, there she goes. So we've got, I think it's about a mile walk over the um, over the dunes. There's a couple of paths. Um, you can easily get lost around here. Luckily, I know, I know this place bloody, you know, blindfolded really. Um, that lake just over there, that's all fresh water. Um, I'm happy to get some amazing birds, you know, birds that come in migrating. Um, so, yeah, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna film bits as I'm going along. You'll probably hear me puffing away, going up and down the dunes. Because uh, we've had so much rain, this place, well, it's like, is it peat bog? It's going to hold a hell of a lot of water. Um, so, yeah, we'll have a look as we're going along. I uh, can't wait to show everybody, you know, what this reserve looks like. I've done loads of filming down here. And then I, I'll say, right, I'm going to put the video together. And then I forget. And before you know it, I've deleted it. So hopefully today, um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm using my mobile phone at the moment, but I should be soon getting my GoPro um, off my brother. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess some better filming. It's already starting to rain now, so um, I'm just hang fight because my phone isn't the uh, the greatest of uh, being waterproof. <laughs> right, it is now friggin' hailstoning. Ah, fantastic. Ow. And they are bloody, bloody hurting as well. Shit. And God, my dog is, is sporting a new coat. I know, little lady, she's not happy with that. I know, I know. First time she's been out in Haystone. Oh, wow, you can see it, look. You can see them all over the place. Bloody crazy. Right, I'm going to stop for a minute because it's whacking me in the chops. <laughs> as soon as I get into the bloody bushes, it, uh, it stops. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's going to be very sensitive. All right, okay. So, I've never seen a holly tree without the berries, though. Yeah, and that would be a meal for that. Oh, okay. Uh, My hubby's well into his trees, so... Well, I love trees as well, mind. Really high up. Okay. Yeah. So, some of the leaves are sweet. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Because there's no eat them because they're predators. Ah, oh, okay. Is there predators? Rabbits. Right. Right. Okay. Um, this reserve um, is known to have um, some really rare orchids. Um, and I've been down here and I photographed, I think, about 16 different uh, wildflowers. There's even, um, there's even a... Uh, uh, trust that looks after the flowers um what's the trust called uh, yeah it's called plant life um so they do a lot of sponsoring for you know to protect the uh protect the reserve um yeah so what's going on now uh 
<laughs> my dog does not like being out but them hailstones just now i don't know if the, if the video is going to do it justice but jesus christ they were smashing me in the face it's like i was getting stabbed with needles uh, my dog took cover under the tree um i'm hoping i was hoping that this place is going to be full of water now the pools and everything but um i'm just looking at one way here look you can see and normally this is completely covered in water could we get a little egret always you waiting but um there's no bloody water there how is that possible when it's just been pissing down for weeks there we are so we're just uh, starting on the dunes now here's my dog um yeah there's a shipwreck um down on scare but you walk in at least well, it feels like an extra mile up towards uh, the steelworks in Port Talbot. But, um, yeah, the, the shipwreck, I think, is from the 1960s. When I first uh, when I first found it, I was like, oh, my God, this, you know, this must be really ancient. And then you could see the mechanism, the meta mechanism bits are still attached. Uh, so, yeah, apparently the 1960s, a fisherman, it was a fisherman's boat. So, but it is really good to see it. Eh? Um, by the time you walk down to Scare and you know you've got to walk back, you're talking a couple of miles anyway, I'm bloody knackered. Uh, yeah, this is normally covered in water. I'm really, really shocked that it isn't today. So, right, I'm going to pause the filming for a second and wait till I get a bit closer but I start uh, going up the slope. In the um, 1970s, uh, the fresh uh, lake that I showed you, Good God, you can hear that thunder? Wow, did you hear that? Shit! Shit in hell! Did you hear that thunder? Yeah, I know you can light the Oh shit! Oh yeah, I got a light, uh, a rod in my hand. Fantastic. Wait a minute. Oh, sure to God. Okay, keep it to the side of me then. Be electrocuted on film isn't, isn't like top of my priority list <laughs> um anyway as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by the fender um the, the fresh lake um back in the 70s you used to be able to swim in there um and it's all tadpoles and everything as well there's a building a little bit further up ruins left in the water there's rumors that um you know there's uh, a village buried underneath it and you can hear the bell that's the story i was talking up. it's a myth um, I know the time team have been down here and done a dag, a dag, a dig. I'm keeping that in. A dag, a dig. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, they did a dig down here. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are buried down here. There's also Scare House, which is, you know, very creepy. And, um, yeah, can I just get past it, Alan? I seem to be filming your bum. Hang a minute. There we are. I'm always told I'm... <laughs> I'm always told I'm filming down on the ground too much. So, right, so we're starting to go up now. Um, I'm sidetracked now, what I was saying. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of history. There's a lot of stuff buried under here. I mean, it's changed since the 70s. There's all bramble, you know, and thorns. And they try to do like a, I think it's a scrape, um, you know, with like digger digger machines and um, because there's a lot of lizards slow worms um, grass snakes probably adders as well um, down here and uh, the bramble is just overtaken I mean you have a look, look at that you can barely see any sand can you see you, can, you can't see any sand because it's just all covered the only sand that I can see is the bloody path that I'm walking on so we're at now I think one of the highest points is I think. Um, yeah this place isn't isn't heavily walked at all I can't believe it after all the rain we've had over there the distance it's looking like this amazing blue sky it's my bloody camera but it's just not it's really uh, well, all ah, right, okay. We're gonna hit, get heavy more bad weather now, I think. 
Yeah, oh yeah, there's rain. There's a lot of pussy rain coming this way. Shit, well, as soon as you make it down to that tree down by here now. Me and my husband came this way once, and uh, there were three men hiding under the tree. <laughs> they weren't doing anything dodgy, they were just, they were just dodging the rain. So it's always a good little shelter. I had to put myself in. She's all right. isn't filled with water. I'm really, really shocked. We are getting closer to the coast. Um, I love the sea. It's one of my favourite places in the world. Um, I love the coast. Oh my God, I love it there. Please, my head. Malia! <laughs> Honestly, this film is blue sky. It looks like this is summer's day. Hopefully, you can get it, but that's not the case. Um, Leah! This time last year, um, I came down here and it was, well, it was completely uh, covered in water. Um, and this bit there, you could just see, look, um, is one of my favourite little uh, ponds. Um, and we have a little heron in there. It's at the minute. But by summer, oh my God, the lilies, lilies on there, reeds are be stunning. Getting that bad filming now with the wind. Saying, uh, so I might just do some filming with that speak, which is not me. Just past these uh, gables in front of us is the sea. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if the tide is in or not. Um, I picked up some incredible driftwood around my bike. Oh. Down here. Right, okay, so just past this dune now is the sea. Um, I always get excited when I see the coast. I love it. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh. Normally I am swimming in there and then my bathers down and a towel and I'm like a bloody kid. But uh, not today. Not today. Come on, good girl. Good girl. You can just see people behind us. Right, okay. Here we go. We're about to come down and see Scare Beach. This beach is one of the most beautiful beaches and it's deserted. Um, because it's too far for people to walk, you can't park down here, so looks like the tide I think is going out. Let's have a look now. Let's see it now. Yeah. 
get some unusual jellyfish spots on you. Uh, we get people coming down here like me to uh, sunbathe in the nude. You know, there's a certain area up further, which is good for them if that's what they want to do. I wish I was brave enough. There we are. Okay, so, right. Across my ear, isn't it? It's all about my nose There we are. Check this out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, and it just keeps up so far. Oh, the trusty old lady. Oh, wow. I remember when there was lockdown and we weren't allowed to come down the coast, you know, which is fucking ridiculous considering there's, uh, you know, you hardly pass anybody coming down here because it was past the five miles and I was absolutely gutted. So in the end, I got my stubborn head on, we were allowed to walk and I ended up walking, I think, 12 miles to get down here. Um, but I got you. That beautiful. I think I had a tear. I think I shed a few tears. Because this is uh, a massive happy place. There's loads and loads of waders here as well, especially oyster catchers. Um, oh, it's just stunning. Look at it. Right up there, as far as you can see, is the shipwreck. But it's just too far. It's just too far today, I think. I'm making excuses tonight because I'm up at half four in the morning working. Yeah. Now uh, we'll see now. Sit down for a cuppa. list. Okay, so just walking now up the rocks, the pebbles, try not to fall. Um, I'm going to find some ship. There's always washed up logs down here to sit on. Um, so I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee. Just get up this bit in a minute. I can see the sea behind. Oh, there we go. a log that I got, but never mind. Oh, there we are. So, I'm going to get the coffee flask out now. Bear with me. So, I've got my little baby co uh, coffee mug. Christ. I can see two people on the entire beach, obviously excluding us. Um, yeah. So, this is I've been down here in the summer, um, sunbathing with my family, and all of a sudden it is pissed down. And it just came out of nowhere. It's just crazy Welsh weather, but I love it. Right, I'm going to go back down to the sea. I'm going to get right to the water's edge. I do 
another little uh, video. Right, this is crazy weather. I'm probably going to slip on my ass now. Oh, okay. uh, there we are. So, I'm going to walk down to the... Uh, down to the... You know when you go blank and you can't even think what it's called? Uh, well, I'm going down to the sea's front. Come to me now, any second. Oh, jeez. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I love, I love this place. Uh, look at it. Beautiful beaches and um, southern dam. Well, there's a lot of people go there and uh, the council, which I'm I'm not gonna swear, um, they now charge people there. Um there's meat there's meter machines up on top and there's always someone standing down the bottom, you know. If the money went to good use, it wouldn't be so bad, but uh, I wish I could flip this bloody camera around and now film ahead of me, but I, my film stopped, so... Overlooking the sea, 
I've got a, I've actually got to buy a ticket first. I'm not even in the lottery. I've got to start somewhere, have you? Yeah, I don't want much in life. Maybe at my own nature reserve and a house looking up to see you. Yeah. And a swimming pool in the gym. There we are. <laughs> right then. Oh, wow. Right, going back up now to my husband. I've left him up for the, uh, for the top where the rocks are and join the coffee. So, wow. So this is Scare Beach. And the best way to get to it is Kenfig Nature Reserve. But you do have to pay now. Um, yeah, I love, I love this place. See, exploring isn't all about um, abandoned buildings and ghost tents. It's about nature, it's about showing how beautiful our planet is and there are beautiful parts of our planet you know but i'm starting in my own country um yeah good old wheels um and i literally live 15 minutes from you by car so i'm so lucky um yeah this is just Bloody brilliant. Uh, I think I'm getting carried away talking today. I'm shut up on film yet. <laughs> oh. Never mind, another weekend is back to um, climbing under our old fences, torches, ghost equipment. Yep. Good old fashioned exploring. But for today, I wanted to show Scare Beach and Kenfig Nature Reserve. Um, just spotted someone now with a dog and that's about it. The, the beach is deserted and it's just oh, beautiful. I'm open. I caught the, um, the thunder earlier. I didn't think at the time I was holding a metal rod in my hand because of the selfie stick. How thick the fuck is that, you know? Jesus Christ. Luckily my husband pointed it out. Probably be the first YouTuber to get electrocuted, you know, um, struck by lightning basically. And I probably wouldn't live to tell the tale, judging by this bloody metal rod that I'm holding. Right. Bye for now, you crazy bunch. Right, so we're headed back now, and this time we're going to walk along the flatter part. There's so many different paths, but because there's no water or bog, um, we're able to do that. It's good climbing the dunes coming down. Going back, it's nice to take the lazier, easier route on the flat. My dog over there somewhere with a luminous coat on. Surprised she haven't ripped her off yet. <laughs> um, yeah. This was beautiful today. Um, I love the rain, I love the wind, I love all weather. Um, and I can't wait to come down here in the summer and swim. Yeah. Right, so just climbing back up over the rocks. Uh. So all I can say is I am so blessed living near the coast. I really am. We've got some beautiful coastline. You know, the Gawa. Mumbles, Hot Call, Ogmo by Sea, Southern Down, uh, Shandrick Major, and it just goes on. Um, that's just top of my head. Obviously, we've got Tembe further on, Pembrokeshire. Yeah, and it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Here we are. Right. chance to walk down here you you got to just make sure you're following the right path I have got lost once or twice here um yeah 
and that was going around the big freshwater lake. Never mind coming down here. Um, right, I'm going to go up this bit because I think this is one of the highest points. Just to get a photograph. Uh, probably not going to film much going back because it's not as uh, exciting on the flat. But let me just get up on this highest point. Oh. Here we are. Right. Right, so we're walking back a different way now and you can see these black posts ahead of me. Well, it won't be long now before you won't be able to see them posts. This will be completely submerged in water and you get some amazing birds coming down here. Again, the little egret comes down here, the herons, cormorants. Um, yeah, this is covered in in all different uh, a variety of plants. Yeah, but I probably won't film much now going back until I get near the car. I think. Um, but you never know. You never know what might surprise me. I'm glad I caught the thunder. Um, I don't know if I'm glad that I didn't see the lightning. As I said, I'm holding a bloody <laughs> metal rod in my hand. Dear me, that's got to be uh, one of my dullest moments. <laughs> um, this is why it's not safe for me to go out on my own, because I'm like a tit. Uh, but there we are. Oh, wow. I love coming down here in the, um, in the spring. You've got uh, a lot of my migrating birds coming in. You, you know, you, you've got black caps, um, willow warblers, uh, reed warblers. Um, is it chiff chaffs? Uh, ooh, linnets? Oh, you've got so many. I could go on and on. Show my geeky side again now with birds. Um, yeah, you get so many. Normally I'm here with my binoculars, but, um, oh, it's too much to carry today. But, uh, yeah, this, as I said, is normally covered. That post for there, you won't be able to see it now soon. It'll be completely covered. This must be like a sort of peat, you know, peat bog um, underneath this. I know there's sand, obviously, but uh, yeah. You get wild mint down here along this part in the summer. And when you're walking along here, oh, you can smell the mint. It's absolutely beautiful. You get, uh, I think like Wimberries. I don't know if Wimbrys is the Welsh name, like little black currants um, on bushes down here. Uh, oh, I'll start the water, look. <laughs> um, but yeah, this place is, is massive, um, full of history. So if you get a chance to come down to Kenfig Nature Reserve, you get a chance to walk down to Scare, do it, because it is... Um, it's amazing. Keep your camera ready because you never know what you could film down here. Uh, 
I can feel rain coming again now. I wonder if it's going to be another super, super uh, storm like the bloody um, hailstones just now. Here we are, starting. Uh, my dog, no matter what, she won't run out of energy. She's my little staffy cross, she is. Uh, my baby, she's about a year and a half now. Pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, you know, special home likes to guard her territory. Malia! Malia! <laughs> oh dear. I'm trying to walk as fast as I can to, uh, you know, walk faster than the rain. Here we are. Right. See you near uh, the car. Right, so the rain is starting to come down, the sun is still shining um, and it's black clouds behind us so we've still got a good bit to go yet whether we get caught in the next uh, lot of rain, I don't know but there we are Oh, I can see a rainbow caption there on film that is the second one Hey, look at that. You see it? That's the second one I've caught today. Two rainbows today. And as you know, my username exploring under the rainbow. Um, the reason why I picked the rainbow is because the film Somewhere Over the Rainbow, Wizard of Oz. Um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow is my favourite song in the world. And of the rainbow, everything is beautiful and, you know unicorns and everything beautiful um but of course under there the darker side of things so that's why i picked the name um but i do love seeing rainbows uh yeah one of my favorite things ever um so right okay it's definitely getting darker i know it's my phone doesn't uh, really show the true colour of things. Earlier it really did look like it was a bright bloody blue summer sky and it wasn't but my phone is one of them bloody uh, Pixel Pixel 6 ones and oh pain in the ass. the buttons are on the middle of the phone so my selfie stick keeps you know knocking the filming on and off well that's my, my theory anyway only seems to happen mind in uh, creepy locations uh, so right there's my dog walking ahead of us telling us to hurry up what's these blackberries then Chris? Um, uh, his, uh, dog, uh, they lovely what is it? I've never I don't recall seeing them before What is it? Oh yeah, wow. Oh. Wow. What was it? Hoverfly? Yeah. We do have them around our wildlife pond and they, they're amazing to watch how they, you know, they claim the territory of the pond um, and like a true predator. So, okay. This place in the summer is completely different. It's full of colour. Um, but I love this as well. I love the winter, this weather. Well, autumn, I suppose. It's November. Um, there we are. <laughs> She's enjoying this. And her coat has survived. So that's good. That's really good. I think I actually um, I love walking and I did pen a van um, I think it was a year ago in the summer and it was so easy going up there honestly I got up there so fast it was coming down that hurt me uh, my knees because you can't exactly run like a lunatic down there so you're trying to walk you know, and steady yourself as you're coming down and it was bloody torture. So I did not enjoy that. It was amazing being on top of it. Um, 
and that's the second time I've done it now so I think I'm done I'm done there um, and to be honest I haven't got the urge to like go up Snowdonia and places like that I'd rather walk around reserves or have a walk where I know I'm going to come to a really good location so here we are look at the sky over there <laughs> it's looking black right so we're going to go up now and over another down and we're going to come back out by uh, where the uh, hailstone started so there we go okay. wow it is it's going to piss down in Wales you get snow hail rain uh, sleet sun all in the same day all in the same day basically four seasons of weather all in the same day and that's why we know for the rain right. there we go. good girl okay let's see where we are so we're almost back where we started where i took cover down with the trees so all the way back down there so we see is where Scare Beach is on the coast. There we are. And down by there is where we started. So we down and that's the bloody kid running down there. Huh. Let's have one of them toboggans. <laughs> Yeah, there is this uh, fresh, fresh water lake here, um, and it's, it's a really good size. But do I go near it when Millie is wearing a new coat? Because she's a bugger and she does love, she does love the water. Um, we brought the coat to keep her dry. If any of you need a dog coat, B and M. Honestly, they had about ten different types earlier. I went into loads of other shops like home bargains and stuff nothing nothing um so this one 10 pound it's kept her dry she wasn't impressed with the hailstones in her mind but uh yeah there you are right okay right okay so i'm gonna quickly go down to the uh, fresh water lake <laughs> my husband's trying to get Malia to go back to the car <laughs> Can you send it again? You have to call her! <laughs> she knows the name. Go to Dad! Where's Dad? <laughs> bloody run back after me now in a second uh, okay so we're just heading to the fresh water lake now right come here you i need to take you a coat off if you're gonna go bloody swimming normally i go i go paddling my feet in there oh no she's going in with a coat on i'll strangle her <laughs> Right, Malia, come, come. Right, come here, come here. That's all I need now is a bloody stick and she'd be in that water. So much for keeping her dry, but this is the freshwater inland lake. Over there, you can see there's some cormorants. I know it's not very clear. Uh, you've got milk swans over there. You get golden eye down here, tufty ducks. 
Oh, you get loads, loads and loads. There, good girl. Yeah, in the 70s, as I said, you could come down here and swim, and it was like thousands of tadpoles in here. Um, but then it turned into a nature reserve, and I'm glad anyway. We got enough places to swim, and this is awesome. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, it's the rainbow again. That's the third one now. I don't know if I can see it on my film, but yeah. Third rainbow now, look, today. Oh, wow. Fair play, we've kind of dodged the bad weather. Um, down here, there's an actual bitten. Um, I think we've heard it down here, but we've never seen one. So that's like on top of our bird geek list. Uh, get over there. Is that a ball? Did I just see a ball? Don't throw something to me and let it go in the water. <laughs> Kept it dry all this time with a coat. But um, yeah, she wouldn't go back to the car. Oh my God, yeah. I was only saying the other day, you never see it where the rainbow starts and finishes. But, oh my word. Oh, I'd love to get that in. Um, I know I'm not going to get that on camera, all of it. Oh wow, that is stunning. I think that's one of the most, you know, full art rainbows I've ever seen. That is beautiful. Wow. Where's the ball gone? Oh, she got it. Can I throw it? Drop it? No. No, drop it. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? <laughs> oh. Oh, I wish I could film this. I wonder if I can, if I've got, no, I can't get it all on film. I'm trying to just go back a little bit, I am, but. I wonder, let's have a look, let's see if I've got that. Right, okay. So anyway, we're gonna head back to the car shortly, but I um, just wanted to show you this lake. We've walked right over the other side over there, got totally lost. We thought we could make it all the way around and no, it didn't. I can't get over this rainbow like this. Stunning. It is one of the most, you know, where you see the start and the finish. Does that mean there's gold? Pot of gold? I'd be happy winning £10 on the postcode lottery. <laughs> oh dear. There we are. Well, hope everybody enjoyed this film today, this video. Um, I know I've probably talked a hell of a lot more than I normally do. Um, I've been told I don't, you know, talk enough or come out of my shell enough on film. So uh, there we are. You've seen more of the dizzy side of me now. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, if you want to give a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. Um, if you want to leave a comment, please be kind. And if you want to subscribe, Trust me, I've got a lot of places to uh, explore, a lot of pins, a lot of adventures, and you're going to miss out if you don't. So, up to you. Um, so, see you all soon, you crazy bunch.